DAT's Trucker's Edge has the best load board out there for owner operators. If you're on the spot market, you should be using DAT. They have the most loads at the best rates. Get your 30 day free trial by clicking the link in the description of this video. Tennessee across the Mississippi is where I need to be I was hammered down Jackson town and he met me head on and he flipped it around he was slinging mud in the median disco lights on for some dancing fun oh no don't stop me now Mr. D.O.T. don't leave me alone now hey Mr. D.O.T. Don't stop me, I'm out here trying to feed a family You got your job and I got mine I just need to cross the Arkansas line and Get this one off, get another one on Take 34 off, once again I'm gone I ain't got no time, please leave me alone I want you, Mr. D.O.T. Go on, leave me alone now Go after that fellow with that guitar over there Mississippi hoop and that West Memphis skill wasn't gonna be open But I heard the beat, the red light flashed If I pull in here, they're gonna nail my ass I blew the skill, drove like hell If I catch me now, I'm gonna go to jail Oh no, don't catch me now, Mr. D.O.T. Go on, pick on somebody else now Hey, Mr. D.O.T., don't stop me, I'm out here trying to feed a family You got your job and I got mine, I just need to cross the Arkansas line Get this one off, get another one on, take 34 off, once again I'm gone I ain't got no time, just leave me alone, won't you? Mr. D.O.T. Don't leave me alone now Always out here picking on us hard-working truck drivers. I wasn't doing much wrong. Eight days out on my log book. Two blow tires. What's up, everybody? I am in uh, Rifle, Colorado. Um, it's a real pretty view here. I'm not going to show it to you. Nope. Okay, I'll show it to you. That's right. Isn't that pretty? I think it is. I'm just waiting on um, this guy over here to get uh, backed in, and, and I'm the next one up. But ain't that pretty? That's not pretty. But the hills are. 
I'm uh, just cleaned out my trailer here. Just waiting my turn to load up. Man, these people load up fast. I mean, I've been here for about 20 minutes and they've loaded three guys. No, already two docks. It took this guy right here probably less than 10 minutes a while ago in, a, in and out of this door right here. I just, because he backed in while I was sweeping this thing out. So, yeah, we're, we're taking this load. We're taking this load over to um, Cincinnati. Then we're going to work on getting a load home. All right, we're getting loaded here. Look at the view. Anyways. It's a little chilly, but I'll tell you what. Some guys make their job just too hard. All right. Some guys just make their job too hard. Take it for instance, the guy that's right behind me. This guy right over here. Now, he is um, having a difficult time. He's got his flip-flops on. Now, you guys know how much I love flip-flops, right? Mm -hmm. I'd help this gentleman out, but he would get mad at me. I'm out here in Kansas and uh, taking a 30 minute break here. Um, my GoPro, uh, my GoPro uh, thing, I find out what it is. I've got two GoPros and one of them stopped working. I was like, oh crap, here we go again. Another session going bad on me. But um, I got this other one and I plugged it in. I think what it is is the charger, it's the, it's the cord. I'm gonna go find out and we'll go buy me a new cord. But anyways, you know, I got to thinking I was in Lyman, Colorado this morning, scaling and weighing my wagon. And I got to thinking about the old days. I kind of want to talk about it, but I got some miles to do first. don't care and some that just don't understand it takes a special kind to sit behind this wheel you leave one day you turn around and your kids are all grown and gone and that long black ribbon don't give a damn how you feel but we drive Never knowing where we're going or when we'll make it home Yes, we drive home We're all a bunch of loners that ain't worth a damn at being alone Never knowing where we're going or when we'll make it home. Yes, we drive. We drive. Oh. oh, man. 
Well, just when I think that my sickness is done, just like, just comes. Comes and goes. I'm ready to get over this. You know, I was in, um, at the TA in Lyman, uh, Colorado. I hadn't been there in a long time. Many years, actually. You know, that place has not changed one bit. <clears throat> Still even has a payphone there. Now, it only has one. There used to be more there. I remember. Because I remember being at that truck stop, among others. Right there, just on the phone, talking to my wife. It's like, yeah, you know, use my calling card. I was like, man, we've come a long ways since my early days of trucking. I mean, but that place hasn't changed whatsoever. It don't seem like. I mean, I've got these bad habits. I guess they're just, they're not really bad habits, but they're habits where... I go and when I go eat, I always sit at a booth. Because back in the early days when you call your wife or call home or whatever, <clears throat> there used to be this uh, phone at each of the booths. You always get one and you go put your order in and while they're cooking your food, you call your wife up. I remember doing that a lot and I've never set anywhere else. I never sat at the little bar, the counter or whatever. I didn't like sitting at tables. I always sat at the booth because of that and because it's like silent. You know, when I go eat, I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> when I eat, I usually like to keep to myself. It's just like a little bit of quiet time. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to talk to a bunch of everybody. I just want to sit there and just stick to myself. Boy, this trucking's come a long ways, you know? It just, it just really has. Now I could go down the road and talk to my wife or whoever else. Just going down the road. <clears throat> Used to not be that way. Used to. Your mind would wander. Because <clears throat> you didn't have, you, only people you can really talk to was people on the CB radio or yourself. And, um, you know, while you're going down the road, the rest of the time you listen to radio or whatever. A lot of thinking time. Boy, it's changed. The communication, especially, has really changed. I hear a lot of people talk about when, you know, trucking back in the day, if you've seen a truck on the side of the road, you'd have other drivers there to help. And you, and it's like, well, you don't have that anymore. And you don't. Main reason is because of technology. If you ain't got a cell phone, which everybody has cell phones, but if your cell phone doesn't have signal, you're at your Qualcomm. And if that Qualcomm doesn't have a signal, usually it <clears throat> still has the backup with the um, satellite. So... Trucking has come a long ways, but I think it's come a long ways in the better. Obviously, we got to train our new drivers, <coughs> you know, a certain way to respect the tra traditions and proper etiquette and things of that nature. But I mean, the trucks are better. Um, the, you know, I haven't had a truck without AC in many years. Knock on wood, some wood. <laughs> but, you know, everything works. Sometimes I always think that, you know, sometimes I have thunk that maybe trucking ain't for me anymore. It's like, I, you know, just kind of getting the rhythm of it. It ain't fun. Then I got into Buffalo here. I'm having fun again, man. I wish I could not be sick. But, you know, I'm still having fun. 
I can't wait to see what the future holds. I think all the new drivers that are maybe watching this video, you may get <clears throat> you may get kind of turned off because of some of the things that drivers do. For the most part, most people know etiquette and people take care of themselves. And it's, you know, I still like doing it. I still like doing it. Got a lot of pride in it. Got a lot of pride. Anyways, guys, uh, this load's going to Cincinnati. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to bed. I'm freaking all stopped up. My ears are stopped up. My nose is stopped up. My throat's still sore. I'm not running a fever, but I am on Tylenol. So, after that Tylenol wears off, maybe I'll run a fever again. I don't know. But I know my voice is kind of coming and going. I'm just ready. <laughs> I'm just ready for this to be over. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. 73.